In this video, I'm going to share with you the three content strategies that will help you as a real estate agent go from invisible to unmissable. My passion is to help real estate agents grow their trust, authority, and local celebrity through marketing so you can attract better quality leads that won't want to work with anyone else. If you're new here, I'm Sebastian Malinowski. Please consider subscribing. Don't forget the ringy dingy bell, bell, bell thingy. Already, we're starting with the marbles, Bob. Okay, so here we are. Let's talk about creating content. Is creating content for real estate agents really all that important? Yeah, it's really what's going to drive your business forward. Like I said, you're gonna go from invisible to unmissable. That's really the entire reason for that content. Of course, you wanna attract better quality leads and grow your real estate business, don't you? Content is the top of the funnel. That's what's going to drive traffic to you, your website, your landing pages, your squeeze pages, and of course, generate better quality leads. And the obvious, your content will build your know, like, and trust factor in your community. Let's look at our handy dandy agent tribe roadmap. When it comes to content, we're over here. I call this the content powerhouse, and you can see it's in the third phase called domination. If you wanna see previous videos about phase one, which is foundation, phase two, which is authority, I'll put the link somewhere in the corner here or also in the description section below. This video, content powerhouse. Three different content types you should consider. Cornerstone content, connection content, and everyone's favorite, conversion content. Let's take it from the top. Cornerstone content is content about your community. You can look at this as evergreen content, things that don't really change. For example, schools, parks. If you want a more detailed video on cornerstone content, I'll leave the link in one of these corners. I, can st I still can never tell which corner I should be pointing at. Essentially, when somebody's looking, let's say for example, a school because they're looking to move into your community, they're gonna Google the school name to get the reviews. Well, if you create a video about the school, for example, or if you interview the principal or a few teachers, wouldn't you rather have your video show up on the front page of Google? On top of that, you're going to be creating your authority in your local market. The more videos you put up on your website or on YouTube or wherever, the more eyeballs you're going to get to your content. The great thing about evergreen content is people are always searching for it, they're always looking for it, and it will always drive traffic to you. Okay, number two, let's talk about connection content. This is the type of content that works really well when you get to the digital mayor stage. That's not what this video is about, so I'll leave this for the next video. What I can tell you is connection content means you have to go out into your local neighborhood interview the people, the influencers, the business owners, the entrepreneurs, the mom and pop shop owners. Why? Because people are also looking for them. They're Googling their names, they're Googling their businesses. And let's face it, again, when you're the person interviewing that person and somebody is searching for that company or person or influencer or whoever they're looking for, your video comes up. And how cool would it be when they get to see you again on the front page of Google? The more eyeballs, the better, don't you think? Eyeballs on you is always a good thing. The best thing about connection content is now you're not only connecting with the community, you're connecting with the person you're interviewing. If you do a good job for them, you will gain their trust. And now they may introduce you to their client database. Enough said right there. That's powerful. Can you imagine creating one piece of content, one video, and now an influencer, a business owner shares that video with their entire client database and they post it on their social media platforms? Guess who gets to see you again? Everybody, your neighborhood. How awesome would that be? Number three, conversion content. That's the sexy one. That's the one real estate agents are always asking about. Just give me the good stuff. I just want leads. I want to convert. One thing you have to understand is conversion content works really well when you have the first two pieces of content done, the cornerstone and the connection. People aren't going to convert like that right away when they go to your landing page. That's, that's really not the way it works. 
Conversion content could be a video explaining to your community what's happening in the local market. That's a perfect example of conversion content. So in that video, you will instruct your viewer to go to a landing page to register for, or sign up for a document, a guide, or perhaps a more detailed market analysis. Once they download that, yes, they can become your lead. But like I said, if they have watched all your other content where you grow your know, like, and trust factor, when you go to connect or communicate with that lead, would you want that conversation to be more like, wow, thanks for giving me a call and not like, who is this? Why are you calling me? I downloaded what from your website? Can you see the difference? Conversion content works really well when you have the other content in place. So if you want to become the content powerhouse in your community and go from being completely invisible to unmissable, consider using the three content strategies we talked about. Question of the day, what's your favorite type of content to create? Please let me know your answer. Put it down in the comment section below. I'm Sebastian Malinowski. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to like, ringy dingy bell, subscribe, all that good stuff. Take care.